so good morning all of you uh first of all a very warm welcome for attending this webinar and i hope that i'll be able to uh, solve all your queries on a one to one basis see before starting the webinar my main uh, concern for taking these sessions is that students they have very personal queries like see every individual is having their own pockets of pluses and minuses so the general webinar about actuarial science or about any other courses are available in youtube and even if you go to our website it is www.actuatorseducation.com there under the link section you can find the full actuarial webinar where all the basic details are given now after watching the webinar what happens is then also the students they have a lot of personal questions that whether this course is suitable for me what is the a uh, progress bar they have queries about the job they have queries about the content of the course right so this webinar aims to answer all those personal questions because see you are not investing your money only you are investing your valuable time okay now when i started my graduation journey in 2014 i'm not very much old i'm just 25 years i'm a qualified chartered accountant and i have cleared 12 actual exams and i'm planning to give to this attempt so what i felt is most of the students before starting any professional course they don't know much about the course or they have a lot of myths about the course like for example let's take the example of chartered accountant we all have heard about the word chartered accountant right it is named as an accountant but there is taxation more than accounts in ca final agar aapke ghar pe koi bhaiya didi hain if you have any elder brother or uh, any of your parents are a chartered accountant you can ask them that main work of a chartered accountant is in the taxation part again taxation is divided into direct tax and indirect tax okay so basically this session aims to break all the myths where you can like ask questions on a one to one basis so now you all can start raising your hands and you all can also use the chat box where you all can speak and you all can ask me your query and i will be answering them one by one so you all can start raising your hands and you all can start asking the question regarding actuarial science as a career so can we start like about your queries yes tanishka khandelwal before before asking the question you all should introduce yourself from where do you belong and why do you want to aspire to become an actuary okay yes yes tanishka so uh, good morning sir uh -huh. i'm uh, i'm from delhi uh, and i'm science student okay um, my main concern was that which uh, which graduation degree should i pursue okay okay please uh, switch off your mic okay so see what happens is uh, which undergraduate degree to select along with actuarial science right so mainly you see if you are uh, yeah sure you all can also side by side post your queries in the chat box also okay yeah so i'll be answering them one by one so which undergraduate degree to choose the main thing is if you are doing bsc economics honors bsc mathematics honors or bsc statistics honors it is very well versed with the actuarial science curriculum now what happens is uh, you see in actuarial science the main subjects that you need to study are statistics economics finance banking insurance and all these things like for example if you are studying about stock markets you are studying about banking you are studying about insurance all these things like the base is statistics the base is economics okay so if, what what i feel is if you are doing economics honors it's very good my first preference will always be eco honors my second preference will be statistics honors my third preference will be mathematics honors and it's not that it is actuarial science so a commerce student cannot do it it's nothing like that i am a commerce graduate shivangi ma'am who is the head faculty she is a she is a commerce graduate my first fellow student meghna agarwal she is a bcom honors graduate so if you see the ratio of please don't switch off your uh, cameras okay it's, it looks very bad you know when i see 
J H, all these uh, like initials are given, and it's very difficult to talk. So uh, if you see, the majority of the crowd are from B Com or B B A. Okay, there is no as such bar that you need to be a science student or you need to have a B Sc degree in order to excel. It's not. It is desirable that you do economics honors or maybe statistics honors, but it's nothing like you cannot do if you are a BCom student. Now, if you see, if I teach hundred students, almost sixty percent are from BCom or BBA background. Okay, and forty percent uh, constitutes eco honors, math honors, and statistics honors. Now, one more thing is college selection or degree selection. What do I mean by this? Is for example, there are two options. Either you can take a SRCC BCom. or you can take uh, eco honors in any of the non reputed colleges being very honest i'm i'm being very frank with you okay this is the main topic for example uh, you are not able to decide whether i should take a bcom in srcc now choose the college which has very good placements because ultimately when you clear around 6 to 7 papers in 3 years of your graduation you need to have a good job and a good college will help you to get good jobs like the placement division of the college should be super strong okay i got the benefit because i studied from st xavier's college bcom okay and what what advantage do you get if you study bcom is uh, normally 3 to 4 hours of college is there 4 to 5 hours and the rest full day is free okay but if you do statistics honors mathematics honors then college will eat up most of your time most of them are day timings like 10 to 5 10 to 6 8 to 4 so you get very less time to prepare but but what happens is you get more synergy if you do eco honors mathematics honors or statistics honors like the subjects are in sync because in college also you are studying eco math stats and in this course also you are studying eco math stats but it is not that you need to solve the complex uh, trigonometry integrations or different it's nothing like that all real life mathematics is there what is desirable is you have pure maths in your 11 and 12 in commerce also you have pure maths and in science also you have pure maths right so i don't need the physics chemistry bio part i just need the mathematics part and you should be a good student it is not that a student who has scored 90 will do very good it's all about consistency it's nothing like uh, if you are getting 100 out of 100 in class 12 maths then you will do very good in this course no it's nothing like that it's all about consistency you should like the content you should develop an interest in the content okay so one one i'm i'm being very practical okay now see uh, one of my students name is mrigang okay he is from kolkata what happened was he had a thing in his mind that he needs to do eco honors only if this is the case with you then no problem you can go with eco honors okay but you if you don't have any degree preference then what i will prefer is go for a good college if you go to a good college your grooming is good your communication part is good you participate in a lot of business events that are conducted by the college you become members of a good society that helps you to develop good business sense like you can participate in the uh, commerce uh, fest that are conducted because it adds to your cv okay and the best part is you get to uh, you get to uh, you you basically lot of interviews uh, are scheduled by good colleges so if if for example if this is the case you get uh, for example nm nm you get an eco in nm nm ims so you can take that because nm ims is having a very strong placement cell and once your board results are out at that point of we have your database okay so whenever any webinar is conducted for you all we'll be sending information to you all okay and i already have a uh, particular video regarding uh, which undergraduate degree to select which i took last year but this year also i'm going to take and there you can just tell me exactly for example which all colleges i have shortlisted you so that session is something which is after your board exams not now okay so now you should fully focus in your board exams okay yeah this was the answer to the first question now the second question is uh I have a doubt. Which is better, IIA or IFO? I am doing currently eco honors from DU. So, which paper should I choose first? Okay, uh, Shiva Agarwal uh, uh, is uh, has asked this question. Okay, so there are two bodies from where you can pursue actual science. One is the Indian Institute, and the other is the IFO Institute. 
as such there is no difference in the syllabus the syllabus is exactly same what is different is iai is little bit cheaper and ifoa is little bit uh, like a costlier and the difference is roughly 5000 rupees per exam so from ifoa if you are giving any exam the approx cost will be 20000 and from iai which is the indian institute if you are giving any exam the approx cost will be 15000 okay so this 5000 difference is there there is little bit difference in the membership cost so if you are taking ifoa membership it is 20000 and if you are taking i you can please take down this notes whatever i am telling and after this webinar i am going to send my actuarial pdf also where all this information is given okay so if you are taking iai membership it will be roughly 4000 so what i have uh, on average if i tell you so if you are doing from iai you need to spend 100 rupees and if you are doing from ifoa you need to spend 125 rupees so what i can derive is ifoa is on average 25% costlier than iai and what advantages do you get by doing from ifoa their results are good i uh, what i mean by good they are consistent like in ifoa you see very consistent results ranging between 30% to 50% but in from iai what happens is the results are very uh, skewed by skewed i mean sometimes the result might be 3 to 4% and sometimes the result might be as high as 60% so it depends on which term on the paper quality it it depends on a lot of factors so if you want consistency i will recommend go with ifoa but some of the candidates they have in mind that they want to do from an indian institute so it is also not a problem we have students those who are consistently performing very good my my student ridisha she has cleared all the exams like she has cleared around 10 exams she has cleared all the exams from iai in first attempt and there are more examples where students are clearing exams from iai now the main difference is in the teaching pattern to so select your mentor properly because most of the institutes they are centered with ifoa only like iai should also get a lot of preference because it is our indian body right so it is nothing like that you can if you are doing from like the seniors they might um, uh, tell you a biased opinion if let's for example take an take an example of a senior who uh, like uh, who has started giving papers from iai and and is not able to clear so take advice from people those who are giving from iai and they are consistently clearing the exams they are going to guide you better if you take an example of a candidate who is giving exams from 3 4 attempts and is not able to clear he is going to give you a biased opinion yahan se mat dena yahan se clear nahi hota and all those stuff it's nothing like that both the institutes have equal job opportunities okay it's nothing like that iai is tougher so you get more job opportunities if you are doing from iai it's nothing like that what matters is how you are answering the questions in the interview it's very important okay so if you are able to answer all the technical questions very very nicely then you will not have any problem okay so whichever institute you are pursuing the course it doesn't matter you need to have the soft skills by soft skills i mean you need to have the knowledge about excel you need to have the knowledge about r programming which is there in the curriculum as you all might know because in the cs papers like cs1 and cs2 you have knowledge about r programming along with the theoretical examination and in uh, m codes paper like cm1 and cm2 you will have uh, like testing on excel apart from that there are more softwares which you can learn is vba you can learn sql okay so these all will will be guiding you once first comes the core curriculum so in the core curriculum you need to clear six papers in three years of your graduation it roughly takes 2 to 2.5 years to clear six papers in your graduation and the rest of the time you can devote to interviews let's say suppose you start with cm1 as your first exam okay and you give it in the first year of your college will you remember the thing if you are in third year the answer is no so you need to keep on revising the content because the interviewer will not be happy if you say sir this paper was given by me in the first year i don't remember this is not the right answer you need to revise the content that you have studied it is expected that you have all the knowledge all the technical knowledge they are going to grill you for one to two hours in the technical round and then only they will be giving you the job the the you know i have made a lot of mistakes in my life one of the biggest mistake is not sitting for placements from college see i was a ca student my my scenario was totally different 
but if you are doing only actuarial science okay so you should sit for college placements in your third year why because if you get a good placement from college the pay is also very good but let's say, suppose you have you haven't given any interview you don't have any experience and you are applying off campus what is off campus once you are a graduate you start looking for jobs from job portals like linkedin nokri.com and other similar job portals so what happens is there you need to start with an internship it's not a compulsory thing but it's the industry practice for 2 to 3 months they are going to give you an internship and then you become a permanent employee so it takes time na but if you are sitting for college placements if the college placement division is very good then you get good placements and that is why a good college is very 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 important okay yeah i'll answer all the questions don't worry let the session go on for 2 to 3 hours it's not a problem for me okay okay i am in akshat namdev i am in 11th what should be best for me to do currently see uh, akshat beta i am telling you just focus on your mathematics part it's very good that your it's it's a brilliant thing i clap for you that you have decided in class 11 that you want to pursue actuarial science being very honest i i first came to know about the course when i was in my first year okay when i was preparing for my ca inter nowadays there is lots of awareness through youtube and the students are very smart they know they have lot of options because when when i just passed my class 12 i didn't know that these are the colleges i didn't even know about lots of colleges and uh, degrees okay it was very clear for me that st xavier's jana hai and i need to do a bcom honors from there and i want to do ca so this was the thing but now the pattern has changed just focus on your maths some of the institutes they might tell you that please join this course please join that course don't fall for any traps before class 12 don't join any curriculum okay so you where where, where do you stay akshay please switch on your mic where do you stay sir i stay in pune pune okay so what happened? general practice in the mumbai region that in the maharashtra region that uh, students from class 11 only they join so now is not the time focus on class 12 why am i telling you see what happens is uh, you you might see my webinar i have attended i have taken a lot of webinars in lsr and almost all the top colleges in india now what happens is the students they get attracted towards the course that yes this is the course that i want to do it's a good course now what happens is once you give four to five papers you see that this is not of my interest it it may happen like if 100 students are there three to four students might feel that this course is not for me so if you if you screw your class 12 results then you will not be uh, then you cannot go to a good mba college okay you cannot apply for masters class 12 is very important you will not be able to go uh, to a good undergraduate college okay so class 12 results matter a lot next is 12th board exams will begin from 26th april and will end in may uh, see if uh, if your exams are ending in may i will recommend you to go for cs1 now there are two exams one is your cm1 and the other is cs1 so if you are starting your preparations let's say suppose if it is ending in may end and you are starting from june first week then cs1 will be the exam for you because cm1 needs little bit more time so cs1 will be the exam for you like i don't know much about the board uh, curriculum like when is it ending i have heard that they are going to start in april and they are ending in may so if we announce our fresh batches from june then definitely it is going to be of cs1 okay because it is not possible to cover cm1 in june july august you have your exams in september okay if you are giving your exams it is in september so it is not possible to cover cm1 in 3 uh, months it is possible to cover cs1 in 2 to 2.5 months okay but if we start from june okay i'll take all the queries sir i am interested in computers ayush bhakt uh, i am interested in computers and coding as you told that it won't be helpful if you go for bca along with actuaries so will it be okay to go for data analytics could you please name the core c uh, ayush bhak it's a very good thing that you want to do data analytics now the thing is uh, there are uh, you can go for christ college the christ college offers a specialized course in computers where you are taught economics 
i guess statistics and computers so where you get a good knowledge about computers and you can connect with us after your class 12 we offer a good data analytics course for undergraduate students where you can learn around 10 to 12 softwares and you can become a very and you can become a very good like you will have a good hold on 10 to 12 softwares like ms excel bba financial modeling cql okay uh, data visualization softwares like Tableau, Power BI, okay. And then what you can plan is you can plan your masters abroad, okay. And if you want to do actuaries side by side, it is very good because actuaries is having a lot of link towards the uh, data part. Now the institute, the IFOA institute has also its own curriculum in data science because you know we do a lot of predictions. Like for example, if there is a tsunami. Now let's say suppose there is a war going on between Ukraine and Russia. So what, what will be the financial loss if the war breaks out? So this we estimate. And how can we, like for example, I'm telling you, in India, there is no insurance of human body parts. Now let's say suppose I teach. So which body part is most useful for me? My hands and my tongue. Okay. Now let's say suppose if there is some bad day and I lose my hands, then will I be able to teach? The answer is no. And I calculate all my future cash flows and I insure my hands. For a football player like Ronaldo, which is most important, his legs. So he has insured his legs. For a singer like Dua Lipa, the most important part is his tongue. Like this thing, na, this, this region. So there is body parts insurance. Because if you lose that part, then you will not be able to earn. Okay. So the point is, we do a lot of predictions. So, and then there is insurance, the banking part. Okay. So we have a lot of connect with data science because without softwares, we cannot do any sort of analysis. Okay. Like uh, there is, there is the base rate in this IPL, right? Now, uh, there is, there is a lot of uh, betting that goes on in the cricket match. But you know, if you, if you know all the factors, like you know the weather, like there is a lot of, lot of statistics that goes on in the cricket match. Whenever Rohit Sharma has played in Eden Gardens, now there is a match going on in Eden Gardens. So whenever Rohit Sharma plays in Eden Gardens against this team, he hits a century. So this is basically a stat. And if you combine all the stats, then you can predict the outcome of the match. So all these things are software based. So analysis cannot be done without software. You cannot do manually, right? So actuaries is having a lot of connect towards uh, data science. And nowadays, a lot of data science firms are hiring actuaries because they are good with numbers and they are good with softwares. Okay. Yeah. I am from Kalyan, Maharashtra, and I am thinking to come to Kolkata to pursue. See, uh, Aniket, uh, the point is from Maharashtra, you don't need to come to Kolkata to pursue actuarial science, being very honest. In this digital world, you, you, you can do this course from anywhere. It's not that you need to uh, come to Kolkata to pursue this course. It's very good that you want to come to Kolkata. Now it's your choice. But if you're coming only for the coaching part, you don't need to come. Okay. Now the reason is we have EdTech setup. So you can do this course from anywhere across the globe and with full recorded backup facility. So basically you don't need to come first give preference to the college. Now let's say suppose if you get into SRCC or maybe you get into Hansraj or you get admitted into St. Xavier's Kolkata. You get admitted into NMIMS Mumbai. You go to Christ College. So first preference should be your college, not your coaching teacher. Okay. The if the college is good, you can do it from anywhere. That's not a problem. Okay. What is the duration of the course? Roughly any professional course. Like for example, if you plan to do an MBA, it is three years plus two years of college, right? If you just crack cat in your fifth semester, like the first time when you can give CAT exam is in your fifth semester when you're in third year. And it is three plus two, five years. CA is five to 5.5 .5 years. Actuaries is also five to 5.5 .5 years. Okay. So it takes roughly five to six years to complete the course. Now you can see a lot of seniors, uh, those who are doing the course from seven years, eight years. It is just due to lack of resources. Even I am a victim of that, but I have spread a lot of awareness about the course, about the papers. Currently, we are offering full training for 12 papers. Okay. So now, as per the old curriculum, it is 10 exams. So basically what happens is, you take training only for the first 6 to 7 exams. 
because afterwards all the papers are job based and you don't need training for that okay so we have support groups for the higher level exams as well where we have mentors like those who have already cleared those exams like cp1 is there sp stage is there sa stage is there and they guide the students really well you just need little bit guidance you don't need complete training because it is all job based as you know the third and the fourth stage is not compulsory you can select the papers right and it is all for example if i'm working in the banking industry uh, if i'm working as a portfolio manager if i'm working as a, a financial analyst equity analyst okay then i'm going to give the financial papers if i'm working as a actual analyst in a pensions firm then i'm going to give the pensions paper if i'm working in the health insurance i'm going to give the health insurance paper if i'm working in the risk department i'm going to give papers related to risk okay so it is all job based it is not like uh, you need to give all the papers it is any two from the sp stage and any one from the sa stage it is like that as you all know you all know the curriculum right there are 13 exams in total I, I, after this after this uh, webinar i am going to send you my lsr session okay which i took recently for lady sridham college so uh, you all can watch the basic details about the course in that webinar it's it's not useful to repeat all those content again and again okay so uh, it's like that so basically if if you see a uh, ideal student what the student does is he takes he or she takes the training for the first 6 to 7 exams and then they plan to attempt the papers on their own because they have a lot of knowledge about the curriculum they know how to attempt the exams they have cleared around 7 to 8 exams by taking the training they know the pattern of study they just need a little bit of guidance and we are always there for that okay yeah will frm complement actual science definitely uh, priyanka bahati but what happens is you see i told na, i made a lot of mistake in my life right so what happens is let's say suppose you start with actual science you cannot start with frm because it's a very technical course there are lots of granularities but yes once you clear 6 to 7 levels of actual science you can definitely go for frm what happened was i also started with frm it's not the case that what i uh, suffered you will also suffer the point is i i was not able to clear frm level 2 i i gave it for 2 to 3 attempts and then it is decided that no i should focus on actuaries now what happens is once you go for multiple degrees your attention is divided okay so actually it is not required to do frm it's nothing like if you do frm you are going to get a pay of 5 lakhs more okay so first focus fully on actuary science and if you are not able to secure a good job okay if you are not able to secure a good job or your company says you that you Uh, or your company is saying you that uh, what's your name? Yeah, Priyanka. And if your company is saying that Priyanka do FRM, then the company is going to pay you. Why will you pay one lakh rupees for the course? The company is going to arrange for all the facilities. Then you will get the increment also. Like if you clear FRM, then you will get the increment of maybe two lakhs or five lakhs, or or your post will be enhanced. Whatever is the case. So don't focus on multiple courses. This is what I'm I'm trying to tell you. if you are doing actual science in today's world it is enough okay so it's like that i am not good in math shirak kejival can you please switch on your mic shirak kejival yes sir i am not good in math um like sir uh, i score less in maths Oops. no you are you are a pure math student or uh, uh, like you are having business maths i am having business maths like you don't have the full pure maths thing like integration differentiation you don't have all those things no no sir i have that okay so see it if you like maths then you can do this course and if you don't like maths like maths is something which you hate then don't come to this course it's as simple as that it's not like if you uh, like if you are uh, like for example it's like the love because this is something which you need to carry on for the next 5 years right so if you don't like something you don't like to study this these like mathematics for example you don't like integration you don't like differentiation you don't like solving the problems it's just a, a curriculum for you then 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 you should not pursue this course okay marks are just a by product it's not like you are getting less marks and you cannot do this course a lot of students are there they are not able to score well they get nervous in the exam 
due to lack of practice and they say i'm weak in maths but if they solve sums they can do it properly so it's not like that that so what is what is the main deciding thing is what you can do is after your class 12 exams you can watch around 10 to 12 demo lectures which i'm having in youtube if you are able to follow that then you should do, then you should give it a try you know what is the problem okay like if you are able to follow the first 10 to 12 classes then you should give it a try as a non member because the first exam you don't need to take the membership okay just just give me a moment just because in the first exam you just need to take the training after your class 12 and uh, you you don't need to like uh, uh, to take any membership it's just the exam cost and the training cost so if you have a love for actuarial science just give it a try once and if like once you do one paper then you will be able to realize the level of difficulty and like whether it's made for you or not you cannot just decide by seeing a webinar or if someone is saying any flashy words so it's not like that okay so you can give one paper and then you can decide okay, and sir. it is not that the level of difficulty will go on increasing the best part is if you are doing cs1 and you are able to clear cs1 then you will be able to clear the rest of the exams also because in cs1 you need 250 hours of effort so in other papers also you need similar efforts like plus minus 10% is there for cm cs exams you need roughly 200 to 250 hours for cb papers you need 100 hours so it goes on like this so it's not that cs1 is easy cs2 is very difficult it's not like that little bit difficulty will be there as you go up the ladder but it's not like ca curriculum is like what we say ca foundation is a pond okay ca foundation is a pond ca inter is like a lake and ca final is like pacific ocean doob gaya to doob gaya so it's like that to isme waisa nahi hai it's like ki it's all similar every paper requires approximately 200 hours of effort cb papers require less and there is one paper cp1 which requires 400 hours of study so this thing you need to manage but on average almost all the papers require 200 to 250 hours of study okay yeah okay sir thank you yeah is and if you are not able to recall what is 200 hours it's like studying for 3 to 4 hours daily for 3 to 4 months as i said if you start in june then what will happen is you can clear cs1 in the september attempt and don't skip any attempt you will you will be you will be feeling abhi to exam khatam hua hai let's see what happens let's wait for the results and then we are going to know give an attempt at least if if not this course at least aapke dimag mein itna to rahega na ki mere ko ye course to nahi karna hai like if actually this is not your cup of tea then at least you can skip this course like actually tumhe ko nahi karna hai let's say suppose you are not able to follow cs1 then i think you should not do this course okay so you study for two months and then the, and then you realize it is not of your interest you are not liking the curriculum then apko actually to nahi karna hai na right then you can look for other courses okay is a set based on class 12 syllabus the answer is no little bit of uh, mathematics is there and uh, rest like you need to take the training if you are planning to go for a set okay and a set is in june okay i will i will share the details with you all or you can also check the iii website and you can follow on our instagram channel where we post all the relevant content regarding actuary cs cs data analytics okay so it's actuators underscore kolkata so is it it's advisable that you take the training because it's uh, uh, the pattern is also different so is it necessary to choose ifo if i want to go abroad after my ug tanishka so what happens is ifo has got global recognition so it is advisable like see the point is 
uh, you have a car okay you have a car and you know how to drive and there is no other use of car then the point is if you have the car then why are you going to take a taxi so it's like that if you want to go abroad then do from ifoa because ifoa is more convenient because of the results okay it's not that iai se clear nahi hota hai ya fir i am getting some commission from ifoa it's not like that i am doing from iai okay i am doing from iai the my balance papers are from iai it's my personal choice i like challenges and one more thing is if you are doing from iai what happens is the exams are tougher so you tend to study more i am thinking from my teaching perspective because whenever i teach anything i need to have the complete knowledge na aisa thodi ho sakta koi bachcha mere se doubt puchega main bola ye to mera bhi doubt reh gaya tha वैसे मैं नहीं कर सकता ना तो इट्स लाइक कि यू हैव अ वेरी इन द लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इन आई एफ ओ फॉर रिवाइजिंग फॉर टू टाइम्स इन आई आई यू नीड टू रीड फॉर फोर टू फाइव टाइम्स ओके सो दैट प्रेशर इज देयर इन माय माइंड दैट यस आई नीड टू हैव द कंप्लीट नॉलेज और आई एस आई विल फेल इन आई एफ ओ यू गेट द कंप्लीट नॉलेज बट इट्स लाइक द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी ओके इट्स लाइक दैट अक्षय गुप्ता आफ्टर आई क्लियर फाइव टू सिक्स पेपर्स व्हाट शुड बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेप फॉर मी टू डू यस अक्षय गुप्ता वेरी रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन आई एम हैप्पी दैट यू आस्क दिस सो मेरे को प्रैक्टिकल बच्चा लोग बहुत पसंद है एक्चुअली मैंने मैं बोलता हूँ ना मतलब आज जैसे स्टूडेंट लोग का जो मेंटालिटी रहता है डोंट टेक इट अदरवाइज सो यू सी सम फ्लैशी वेबिनार्स एंड देयर देर इज लॉट ऑफ गिमिक मार्केटिंग गोइंग ऑन दैट ये कोर्स कर लो बहुत अच्छा है प्रोस्पेक्ट वगैरह वगैरह ठीक है होता है तो दे डोंट थिंक लॉजिकली कि यार ये कोर्स करने से मेरे कितने का जॉब लगेगा थिंक फ्रॉम जॉब वाइज आज आप एक बात समझो what happens is it's your hard time that you're investing these 5 years i'm telling you after class 12 these 5 to 6 years will define where you will be at the age of 40 or 50 you cannot imagine the hard work i put in like from 2014 to uh, 2022 it's start and now i have a very stable life i'm telling you very honestly So these five years of hard work will define where you will be after ten to fifteen years. So it's your career. You should like think properly. कि आज जैसे मैं आपको बोल रहा हूँ कि if you clear five to six exams, okay, and you have good software knowledge, you have good CV, you can get a job of seven lakhs as a starter, okay. And what happens is there are two types of increment. What happens is as and when you clear papers, you get paper wise increment, and the paper wise increment differs in the level of difficulty of the paper if you clear an easy paper the increment can be 40000 to 50000 per annum if you clear a difficult paper the increment can go up to 1 1.5 lakhs so by the time you become a fellow actually you need to have 3 years of work experience okay and you have 3 years of work experience and your salary can go up to 25 lakhs so 3 years you started with 7 to 8 lakhs as a starting job and in 3 to 4 years by the time you become a fellow actually the minimum salary i'm telling you of a qualified fellow is 25 lakhs this is the industry standard that i'm telling you plus minus 10% it goes on now don't come to me sir mere bhaiya the gali mein upar mein unka 20 lakh hai aap to 25 lakh bole the it depends i'm telling you average okay like <clears throat> i can also give you an example of a qualified fellow who is earning 60 70 lakhs so it, it's scope of the person not scope of the course these skewed salary scales will always be there okay for example i i know i have a lot of friends in st xavier's we make a lot of friends so one of my friend is in kolkata he is he is he is my neighbor also so he earns 8 lakh rupees per annum he is having 2 years of experience he started at around 6 lakhs now is 8 lakhs and my other friend they both are chartered accountants okay he is earning 40 lakhs plus bonus So you cannot complain, right? Why is why is that person earning eight lakhs and why is that person person earning forty lakhs? So basically, it is the scope of the person, not the course. This course, this professional course, they open the door for you on the first part. Now, what you do in job is totally up to you. It totally depends on how many papers you clear. Okay, how much time you take the increment by changing your company or by negotiating. It's all dependent on you, right? Okay. <coughs> will ai replace actuaries it's 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 not possible see ai 
ai has its own place but you are not replaceable you can say that uh, for example if in an insurance company which is manually run it needs around 100 actuarial analyst so it might be cut down to 60 or 70 but think wisely that as ai is coming it is affecting all the domains equally it's not that actuaries are going to be replaced cas mbas normal graduates post graduates okay i'm giving you my example before like 3 4 years when recording facility was not that much of a boom in india okay youtube was not that famous i used to give live demos but today if a student comes i say please watch my youtube lectures enroll and then you can attend my live classes okay so previously if i used to teach three subjects now i am teaching six subjects it's all through technology okay now we all are sitting in different parts of india and i am connecting to you all through google meet so it's all technology you cannot be replaced okay and one more point that i would like to add is if currently there are let's say suppose 100 insurance companies in india after 5 years it is going to be 200 300 who said the insurance penetration in india is very 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 low my mother is not having a term insurance i am having a term insurance my son is going to have two three term insurances so the point is the number of insurance companies are going to pop up and actually is having a very diversified role okay people find their way like for example previously in chartered accountancy cas used to work only in the auditing part in the taxation part but now they are working as a business development analyst they are working as a consultant and the same is for actuaries as well so it's nothing like ai will replace ai enhances our work okay it makes us efficient but we need people right to run the company so should i do ug in actual science like you are talking about bsc raghav pratap soni you are talking about bsc actual science courses uh raghav you are there see uh, one of my uh, like thing is a lot of students have this questions so i'm discussing it if it's i don't know if it's matching so they ask whether i should do bsc in actual science again i am telling you all that the best thing for you is do a good undergraduate degree from a good college okay so what happens is you are misguided i have heard the best name in uh, bsc actual science is amity university which is in noida it's known as asi bas amity school of banking insurance and something is also there so it is a very reputed institute if you want to do bsc in actual science you can plan from there okay few institutions are uh, taking students and they are telling that they are going to give exemptions but it's not the case after 3 years of spending lots of money students find that they have spent a lot of money also and out of six papers which the institute claims that they are going to give exemption only two to three exemptions the students are getting the best thing is to clear papers by giving ifoa or iia exams okay so let's say suppose if you are getting good percentage 95 99 go for good college bsc see the point is if you are taking coaching okay you will get all the knowledge about the course you don't need a bsc in actual science are you getting my point you don't need a bsc in actual science like what is the use you are doing a professional course okay you are doing a professional course which is self sufficient apart from that you don't need anything extra in bsc in actual science or something like that but yes if you have planned that you want to go then you can go for bsc amity noida it's very good and they have good placements also they have good corporate connect again i'm telling you repeatedly go for institutions those who have good corporate connections okay it's very important to have good corporate connections so that they can place you well the most important thing is placement 
if a course cannot give you placement don't do that course beat any course spending like i see students they spend lakhs of money going abroad spending the money abroad and then coming back to india what is the use what is the use if you have go, if you have went abroad just for just for uh, like partying or maybe uh, spending your dad's or mother's hard earned money it's it's it should not be the case if you are going abroad think that you should earn something from there and come back to india and that is only possible by doing a professional course you join an mnc you work very hard for the company they will send you abroad and what happens is you enjoy and you earn also this should be the mentality are you getting it you earn 50 60 lakhs per annum and you work abroad that is that should be the mentality paisa ghar aana chahiye jana nahi chahiye theek hai this should this should be the mentality actually i'm not that good with grasping in online lectures i was thinking to come to kolkata for the day exposure i think it will also be yes aniket pawar you can come to kolkata uh, you can plan to join st xavier's college but for that you need very high grades you can you can go to the website st xavier's kolkata uh, okay they have a very good website where all the details and all are mentioned and our uh, like institution is very close to all the colleges in kolkata okay it's like 5 to 10 minutes walk from almost all the colleges so yes you can plan to come to kolkata okay so there is nothing as such a procedure uh get admitted to a good college like you can take a bcom or a bsc from st xavier's because it's very reputed it's the most reputed college in kolkata okay siddhat bina bina kiya so does ifoa conduct exams like i say conduct ca see ifoa is conducting currently online examinations okay but uh, currently they have not notified from when are they going to start the uh, physical like center based examinations but definitely it should be the case that they should also do physical center based examination just due to covid it see the point was all other institutions were not conducting the examinations only but ifoa was the body which conducted examination in online pattern and they have a very strong plagiarism support like it's not that you can copy anything and it's all open book exam currently the ifoa pattern is you can like uh, open any book okay and you can give the examination but it should not be directly copy pasted but if you think that sir i have all the books i have the question paper then i will get 100 out of 100 it is not the case there there is a case study based examination it is not something that you need to mug up it's your understanding all questions are different it's your understanding and then only you will be able to clear the exam okay sir can you please clear the myths regarding the uh, job opportunities priyanka bhai ti see i am being very honest okay if you are if you are in a good college then your placement opportunities are more okay and uh, let's suppose if you are applying off campus with around 6 papers you can start with around 7 to 8 lakhs and uh, by the time you are having experience of 2 years and you are having 10 exams you become an associate of the institute with 10 exams uh you you have to clear the first two stages the first stage consists of seven exams and the second stage consists of three exams so once you become an associate with two years of experience your salary will be somewhat around 12 to 14 lakhs once you become a fellow like clearing all the four stages seven plus three plus any two plus any one okay once you clear 13 exams with four to five years of experience your salary will be somewhere between 30 to 35 lakhs okay so this is the industry standard but let's say suppose you are going abroad then the salary can be 2x 3x it can be anything because the abroad is because in abroad they have a very developed market and india is the place of cheap labor okay here like if you if you take my example maine ye course kiya tha kyunki mereko paisa ka bahut darkar tha main main bahut bachpan se bahut gareeb tha okay so in india you see people are ready to work at a lower salary okay but in abroad they have a very developed insurance market developed banking system developed ai developed data analyst all the sectors are very developed in us uk singapore hong kong okay so if you plan to go there after 3 to 4 years of work experience you are going to get a very very handsome pay and now there are few institutions those who are connecting indian employees to the foreign employers okay it is on contract based and they are getting very very good salary like almost double the average salary which they give in india 
and it is a total work from home thing like you can work from your home okay so it's like that what should be the ideal thing is work 3 to 4 year, years here and then you should go abroad like let's say suppose if we're getting after 5 years 30 lakh rupees in india then minimum you are going to get 60 to 70 lakhs abroad minimum i'm telling you because see there you get paid in the foreign currency like pounds or dollars or singapore dollars hk dollars whatever is the thing and the number of actual professionals are less there okay in india we like to study a lot okay and what happens is here supply demand doesn't match properly like let's say suppose if there is demand for 100 professionals then you will see 150 professionals so that is the uh, like a tough tough game between employees and let's say suppose there is no negotiation negotiation power are you getting it because if i i am to employ five persons i know there are 100 cvs so you as an employee will not be having much of a like uh, negotiation power that i want this salary but it's not the case abroad and with experience you are having negotiation power also like if you are working in an organization for example you are working in tata tata aia for 5 years now you are a key employee of the company the company will not lose you okay and you can and you can raise uh, like your salary by maybe 1.5 times maybe uh, currently you are working at 20 lakhs and you are not getting good increment you can tell the company that i i want a good increment or as i am going to leave they, they, they then the negotiation starts and it comes with experience but as a fresher you don't have any negotiation power this is the main thing and it's i am telling you now it's not that something in this field it's in every field it's in every field <clears throat> the supply demand doesn't match here we have a lot of population right so let's say suppose if i say you do mba and you're going to get a salary of 50 lakhs we all will jump to mba and then the supply will rise but the demand is there only na and demand when the demand will increase when the economy is doing very good and nowadays you see a lot of ads of policybazaar.com and the government is coming up with uh, like uh, campaigns that take insurance okay it's all government supported so as the insurance industry the banking industry will develop uh, like the demand for professionals like us will develop okay like most if you see if if i take the example of kaushal if he ask his uh, parents those who are earning that papa mama where is the money invested like where is our savings invested they might be coming up with answers like it's in ppf it's in a uh, fixed deposit very less parents will say that their money is invested in mutual funds or they actively invest in the equity market and this scenario has changed a lot in the last 3 to 4 years people are investing in the equity markets so once more money comes into the equity market more money comes into the stock market we get equity analyst role we get financial analyst role okay paisa aane se na aapka demand badhega jobs ka right wo cheez <clears throat> so i am having uh, ap applied uh, mathematics so can i pursue this course see i am not able to get uh, what is applied mathematics but i'll clear it what all things you need to do well in this course the calculus part it's very important and basics of class 11 like logarithm okay matrices these all things are there mostly we use the calculus part and that trigonometry is not there okay little bit of coordinate geometry like you should know what is y axis what is x axis okay that uh, how to calculate the slope of a straight line so these all things should be good okay it's not that you need very high pi trigonometry integration trigonometry is not there and all the things are real life related mathematics okay so like after completing ca can we get ca degree in front of our name so what degree can we put uh, you get the tag of a fellow okay fia fellow of the institute and faculty of actuaries of uk and fellow of the institute and actuaries of india okay so you get the tag of fia if you are doing from ifoa and you get the tag of fiai in ca also you see there are two kinds of degrees there is associateship and there is fellowship okay 
so in this also there is associateship and there is fellowship you get the type of associateship after one year of experience and with 10 papers cleared like the first 10 and you get the tag of fellowship after clearing 13 exams okay and 3 years of work experience is mandatory ruchi will there be any problem in pursuing this course if i take admission from B no i am from bcom on a sensitivist i told i told you na there is a basically it's a trade off what happens is i'm i'm telling you very honestly what happens is if you are doing bcom honors you get more time to study for this course but bcom honors is very less related to the curriculum of the course but still you get the commerce knowledge which is very important like you get to know about taxation accounting you get to know about law audit so it's a very good curriculum bcom but you get more time to devote to actual science if you are doing bsc eco math stats honors then what happens is college takes up most of your time but you develop very strong basics and there is a lot of synergy between bsc courses and actual science it's not directly related but it helps you sharpen your calculus skills your mathematical skills and then it is applied here in this curriculum okay so eco math stats students despite having less time tend to do equally good as bcom honor students okay like we can say that if a bcom honor students on average take 2 hours of study then eco honors math honors stats honor students can they can do it in 1 hour okay because they have good skills right Tanishka is saying, sir, which is better, doing BSc in mathematics along with actual science, or just doing BSc in actual science? I, I I again repeat, see, it's all the game of college, and this thing should should be thought once you get your marks. Planning now won't help you. I'm telling you, it's a one day decision. It's very clear decision. Let's say, suppose you get a hundred percent. Obviously, you will go for SRC C eco, or you will take or you will take Xavier C eco, or you will go for Christ. or you will go for uh, symbiosis okay so the point is talking about uh, colleges won't help now what the best thing you can do is score well so you have a lot of options are you getting it if you score a 100% or a 99% you get admitted to a good college eco honors why will you go for bsc amity are you getting it if you are not getting a good college you are not getting a bcom honors in a good college or bsc in a good college then go for bsc amity because they don't have much tougher admission criteria okay but if you are getting into st xavier you are getting into christ you are getting into symbiosis or you are getting into uh, delhi top 5 then go for that now what is the problem okay but don't think about college i'm telling you just this thought will ruin your studies okay even i was of your age just 7 8 years back and this thought i want to go to this college i want to go to this college this thought will ruin your studies don't think just just focus on your class 12 exams so in kolkata the preference is given to st xavier's but for bcom honors the timing is around uh, 4 to 8 will it, no it's not a problem just 4 to 8 you can come for training from 10 to 3 and from 4 you are going to have your college it's very simple so what about the study materials it's all given by us you don't need to buy anything from anywhere okay it's all included in your training fees only so you don't need to like uh, spend anything apart from your examination fees there are basically two kinds of uh, uh, cost that you need to incur one is your uh, one is your coaching cost and the other is your examination cost okay yeah now I, we are taking doubts uh, sancia disusa yes Um, yeah. Hello, hi, sir. Hello. So I am actually a CA final student, and okay. I have a group left to clear, okay. and I'm also working on the side, and I'm still in the initial phase of doing my research about the field. I, I'll I'll have a look at your demo lectures, what you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. just to see one if it's you know it's actually of my interest, and two if you know I basically I wanted to find out if it's financially more viable for me. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you know I just take a I won't take a break from work, but I will give the initial exams just mm -hmm. to you know um, uh, uh, basically if it if this course is for me, mm -hmm. just to find 
find out about that so i wanted to ask you how was your experience one with ca doing it if you did it side by side or what was your entire experience with ca and this and secondly if it's if it's advisable if i take a shift in my career uh, you know eventually down the line so because it will be like a huge decision for me please please switch off your mic yeah, yeah. it's a very ideal question now the first thing is see uh hmm. Can you please switch off your mic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, see, the first thing is if you're doing CA and actuaries together, it's a great combo. Okay. And uh, like, situation was totally different as I as I already mentioned. I'm from a very low background. Okay. So my thinking was totally different to do both. If you ask me, what I wanted is challenges. So my mentality was totally simple. If I want to do great, I should pick up the most difficult courses. and i saw ca and actuaries both so i started with both okay so this was my mentality but didn't it i actually you know as as class 12 students like we have a lot of myths like for example if a student is like i i got a question of frm plus actuaries right now i ask the question why both you know why both but like you are not going to increase your salary by unitary method it's not going to be like that for example if you are earning 10 lakhs as a ca and 30 lakhs as a fellow actuary you're not going to get 40 lakhs in total what happens is you develop good knowledge base and why ca plus actuaries it gives you a lot of lot of technical knowledge okay ca is all about technical knowledge but where ca's lack is tech okay and in today's world if you're not updated with computers and tech you are standing nowhere and you know ca has a good growth in the financial sector but if you are planning to go for audit taxation then there is not much of growth like if uh, it is totally a different thing if you want to plan to open your own chartered accountant firm it's totally different but your situation is very ideal and the way you are planning is also very good fancya now what you can do is first clear your group of ca i guess you will be attempting in this may only okay yeah so before may don't think anything like once you appear for your examinations of ca final in may take the training of cs1 now what i have earned as a chartered accountant is the level of hard work because before ca final i used to study 15 hours 16 hours every day okay for 6 months so this is the hard work that i have put in so you have that capacity to study right so what can happen is you can plan to clear around 4 to 5 major papers in one year and it is actually possible for you i have a lot of chartered accountants and they are doing great like one of my uh, students she is a qualified ca she cleared three papers in this attempt cs1 cm1 and cb1 and she studied for three months because you know the, the the kind of pressure that we have gone through is is actually cannot match the kind of pressure that ca has so if you plan to study you can start with cm1 because it is very much related to actuaries i mean it is very much related to ca and uh, you can plan to complete uh, cm1 first okay and uh, like if you can complete it uh, by july then you can plan to go for a, a smaller paper like cb1 because it is totally related to ca it is it is about finance business finance so you can plan to give cm1 and cb1 in the september attempt and talking about the viability it's a very good combo because nowadays ca and actually are working as a consultant in big four because they are getting very handsome package also because they have the knowledge about taxation audit law and they also have these mathematical and statistical knowledge so in knowledge wise no one can beat you okay and it's a great combo if you are able to study that is the main part like let's say suppose your planning is very nice the reason being you are saying that i will take a small break from the job why because let's say suppose you clear your ca in july so what you can plan is to start your uh, work after the april attempt of examination so have two attempts of examination one in the september and the other in april 23 okay and just after your april 23 examination you can plan for work sit for placements if you get a very good job like let's say suppose you get the investment banking role in jp morgan sit for placement don't just think ki meko job nahi karna hai to i will not be sitting for a uh, a uh, job 
that is said for placement you get a lot of idea what is required evaluate yourself evaluate yourself okay and give papers like by next april you can plan to clear cm1 cm2 cs1 cs2 and cb1 okay and it is possible for a candidate like you if you are putting in your hard work and once you have cleared these four papers then in the next set of papers you are not going to have that much of difficulty you can easily give one paper along with your job and it will take you 3 years more to become a fellow okay so you can like easily become a fellow actually as well as a fellow chartered accountant okay and then you can get roles in banking division where you can apply your chartered accountancy knowledge and actuaries knowledge as well you can get job abroad where they look for risk officers in a in a good organization or in a good banking or a finance organization you can get job in the equity division now you know lot of financial decisions are taken by coding language like python but in ca there is no training about python and stuff so once you do these this actuarial science course you're going to know how to apply the python because you know it, just knowing the software won't help you you need to have the statistics base also like just and like let's suppose i know about r programming but what analysis will i do if i don't know statistics so you are going to serve both the purpose you know now what happens is cas they are very like uh, on average i'm telling you they they are not much great in mathematics but like if you talk about me i have good financial reporting knowledge and if they say me praveen apply uh, your uh, knowledge and try to get some analysis uh, from coding okay because lots of data is there and you need some coding softwares or you need some spreadsheet like excel to serve so you basically you are serving as a one man army sort of thing okay and the company you you can get a very good job okay and so if if you are if you are planning to do both it's it's a very very good combo you know why ca plus mba is a great combo because mba you know in in actually is what is taught most of the content is taught in mba also like the statistics part the uh, if you know about sfm syllabus so the sfm part like the banking and they teach them coding software so basically communications so that is why ca plus mba previously was a very great combo because they know how to think they know how to speak the mba focuses on soft skills more so now ca plus actually is, is going to be a great hit because you have the statistical economical background and that coding thing is also there in actuaries okay and so it's a, it's a very good thing if you're planning you need to invest one year more so your opportunity cost will be roughly 10 lakhs because average pay is around 10 lakhs of a chartered accountant so that thing you need to sacrifice but i guess it will be uh, totally matched up in the next 3 to 4 years so like let's say suppose if you start as a chartered accountant uh on an average salary of 10 lakhs then your growth will be very normal average you get 5 to 10% of increment so now i was talking about that student her name is ruchika so she got placed in aon and she didn't take a pay cut also aon has given her a salary of around 15 to 16 lakhs so it's a good it's a good thing now she is working in the uh, actuarial role as well as her knowledge of ca will also be applied so it's it's a very good thing if you if you are having that mindset that yes i need to study then then go for it okay yes yes mokshita jain yes uh mokshita can you please uh, switch on your mic or you can type your query in the chat box also mokshita till then i'm taking one query aniket pawar sir i'm studying yes yes mokshita yes uh, so i'm uh, i'm from udaipur rajasthan and currently oh. studying in class 12 okay. so i was just thinking as you as you said that uh, eco honors or maths or stats would be the preference for graduation hmm. so um i was just thinking that will that be difficult for us to cope up along with the actuarial papers no no why am i telling you see base mazboot hona chahiye theek hai if you see up uh, if you go to a construction site okay so what happens is you see 
most of the time like much of the time is spent in dugging in like they level the ground and whatever things they do so that the base is solid and once that is set then you see the progress one story two story three story that progress is very fast so eco maths and stats honors if you're getting in a good college go for that why because bcom and bba are in crowd okay like for example in st xavier's college bcom and bba students were around 2000 and bsc eco maths stat had only 100 seats so you are already highlighted so you are already highlighted but that should be from the good college okay now let's say suppose again i'm repeating the same thing if you're getting a good college bcom go for it college should be the preference but some of the students they don't like bcom or bba they want to uh, stick to the bsc thing then for that it's it's totally your call okay and it's totally fine also okay but from my personal experience i'm telling that go for good college because you know mai mai bahut kamzor tha padhai mein theek hai mai i was very average the kind of friends that i chose in college they helped me to uplift myself a lot you are the average of around 10 persons around you if you like make friends those who are not that focused then you will be like them only and a good college helps you to have that ki me ko karna hai mindset wala thing okay so this is the thing thank you sir what core skills do we need in this course and there is nothing as such core skills you need to be patient this is the most important core skill apart from having a good mathematical knowledge it might be the case there are 13 exams you might fail often so what even i have failed i have failed in a paper like cb1 it was my bad i didn't study properly i didn't devote proper time so there will be time when you are working and you are giving papers so if work is a preference you might not be able to study properly as a student why why do i recommend some of the institutions might tell you don't clear more than three papers don't clear more than four papers the faculty has only not cleared more than six seven papers and why will he guide you he he he, he even don't know what after that so how will he guide you clear as much as papers possible they might tell you you will not get increment focus is to become a qualified fellow actually our focus let's say suppose you clear three papers 10 more papers are left in total there are 13 examinations in the old curriculum like i am in the old curriculum so i i have given like i need to give 15 exams okay previously there were 15 exams now it has been reduced to 13 don't get happy the syllabus is same just papers have clubbed like cm1 consists of two exams like ct1 and ct5 cs2 consists of again two exams ct4 and ct6 okay so the point is that you need to be patient okay and you might not get the right time to study so clear as much as papers possible in the graduation because in your graduation you are free you don't have that working mindset you don't have any sort of pressure okay you get proper time to study so clear as much as papers possible it is a totally probability game if you clear eight papers and you go for a job you are just five steps away from becoming a fellow but if you clear three papers and you go for a job you are 10 steps away and it is going to take you years to complete those 10 examinations because the progress becomes slow of giving papers once you are in a job and it is a very natural thing once you start earning your progress bar becomes slow because you need to devote time to your work also i have cleared five examinations in one year and these are all core five okay so it's it's very difficult to balance today we are having a session for all those who are working like i am calling my friend she is a senior executive in tata 
so like i am calling her to give insight on how to balance work and studies because it's very important okay so that is the thing to so clear as much as papers possible in the graduation and you need to be patient that is the most core skill that you need to have things don't come easy okay in ca i have seen people like i have cleared in my fourth attempt okay it's it's not actually fourth attempt it's second attempt but i didn't give attempt for one year because i was full time teaching okay so things were different okay so you need to be patient and that never giving up attitude should be there okay so should commerce student do bsc uh, in eco math yeah, but what is the problem aditya it's 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 like totally fine like commerce and science it doesn't matter bsc means bsc it's you you don't need to study physics chemistry bio so a lot of commerce students they are doing eco math stats on us sir you missed my question the third last one aniket i am i am studying from maharashtra state board so what is the see there is no as such admission criteria you need to score very good and you can go to the college website okay they have written their admission criteria properly like saint xavier's kolkata is there goinka college of commerce is there bhawanipur college is there so you can go to their ad, uh, list and there they have mentioned all the admission criteria you need to score really good there is no as such uh, different criteria you need to score around 90 95% so that is the thing yeah so i guess i'll be taking this much questions only today uh, sir so should i start looking for job immediately after graduation or try to clear no once you are a graduate give uh, uh, like once you are a graduate then you should start working that gap is not advisable they will be asking why this gap why didn't you take the job and you need to answer them properly for that okay so how many papers should be advisable is around 5 to 6 but it's not that it is a compulsory requirement uh, you you start getting jobs after three papers okay sir so one personal level question to you i see that you have cleared 12 actual paper and actually is required work experience so are you working or only see i am i am totally into the teaching domain okay i i i had done my article ship after for 6 to 6 months to 1 year roughly then like i took a break and uh, from that i continued teaching only so currently i am not having any plan to work but yes once i clear all the papers then definitely i need to work and show 3 years of work experience so i will i will be definitely working part time because teaching is my passion so from i am teaching right from my class 9 okay class 9 till i started teaching like when i was in class 9 i used to teach 8 7 6 so i i have a very good my brothers are also they are professors in a good reputed college so that is my background so that is why i love teaching yeah yeah anushri so yes good morning sir good morning sir i have a query that uh, right now we have to give a entrance exam before entering into any college so uh, for uh, uh, what college you have told that zans uh, that college Zanzibis. so we yes sir so so for that college we have to give the entrance exam as well uh no i guess that is listed in the college website so you need to go and check out there Okay, so and sir, one more query that uh, I am having applied mathematics and it cons uh, consists of uh, financial mathematics as well as uh, some part of core mathematics. Okay. So in um, that college, it is saying that business mathematics is not allowed. Means it is it will not considered. Which college? So, uh, sir, Jan, uh, what the name of that Jan, college? Saint Xavier's, Kolkata. Saint Xavier's, yes, sir, yes. Sir. Yeah, they give a lot of preference to mathematics. Yes, that is the that is the true thing. uh so uh, i want to assure that uh, whether i am eligible or not okay that thing i need to like check you can just do one thing like you have got some text messages from a number right she is my coordinator you can send your uh, curriculum in that number and she is going to send it to me and i will just verify and get back to you in 2 to 3 days okay, okay sir so. uh ronak khetan see business is not related to any any course okay so like actually this is not going to help you in your business it's just basically your mindset so business is like i don't think mba is something which can help you maybe okay so for business i don't think actually this will work out well okay, because this is something a core domain professional knowledge right 
so like maybe your business you can you can develop a good firm like where you can like do actual consultancy so that can be your business okay but as such i don't think actually is helps in developing businesses so maybe some analysis you can be good at like you can you will be very good at analyzing things because you have a good knowledge about tech so but apart from that i guess mba will be a good option if you want to become a businessman like if you if you want to do but just saying that your business means you need to be very focused at what business okay so some day and what business so these two questions please keep asking yourself so that you get your questions answered because you will see eventually time running out and you haven't figured out what business and when will that day come so it's very important right <laughs> i'm only studying 3 days a week from cm1 yeah it's good akshat it's good it's good yes sanshya you have any further questions sanshya i'll take the last query of sanshya and today we'll end the session but yes we'll be keeping more sessions you'll be getting information and we'll be keep uh, conducting such sessions yes Thank you. Uh, sir, could uh, could you also speak on the U.S. Institute of Actuaries a little? Because I had finalized on IFOA only, but uh, I just wanted to know a little more on the U.S. also. Okay, see, the curriculum is a little bit different, and uh, you will be facing some of the problems in the uh, U.S. Institute. It's a bit on the like costlier side, okay, and the acceptance is not there in the Indian like markets. because you know the culture is there currently they are more accepting towards ifo and iii it's not that it's totally not acceptable there are very few firms those who are recognizing the usa institute and it's not very uh, easy like it's not that easy to uh, directly go for a placement abroad because you will not get the work visa right so you need to start with the indian markets only and there the acceptance is low for the us body the curriculum is same the effort is same as ifoa okay and uh, i have made a pdf on the us institute also i like i'll be sharing with you just uh, remind my coordinator the number from which you're getting the message and i will get back to you in two days okay so tomorrow i'm not going to my office so like i'll be giving you the pdf where you can check all the details properly regarding the course structure the cost and everything but you will face two three difficulties is we generally don't give training for uh, the us institute but if some of the students they come to us to take the training so uh, we like train them on a one to one basis okay so that thing is there but you will not get that much of a good of a guidance if you are doing from the us body and the acceptance is little bit low so these two problems are there apart from that it's a good body okay like, like basically the content is same like here if you are giving cs1 and cs2 our programming is there there the exam is like p exam p means probability there is stam ltam there the contents of cs2 are there and our programming is again a different paper predictive analytics so it's basically the curriculum is same but it's basically uh, totally uh, basically uh, divided like the r is split into a different paper and like ct4 and ct6 part is again split between short term actuarial mathematics and long term actuarial mathematics okay the paper name is different like ct1 is their finan exam fm which means financial mathematics so it's like that but the content is overall same only okay so our ifo and ii videos are going to help you but apart from that little bit of personal training is required for the us institute so i will not recommend to go from the us body because you will face problems because now the most precious time for you is the precious thing for you is the time you need to save your time you need to become a fellow as soon as possible because you don't have that uh, criteria that you need to study for 3 years till your graduation you have already completed your graduation so that is the thing uh, anush to in the same number like in the same number from where you are getting text messages okay so in the same number you need to send that thank you all of you for joining us today and we'll be keeping a more a good session like after this after the coming week like in the march first week where i can take more of your queries you please research keep on researching so that we all come to a conclusion once your board uh, uh, exams are over okay and next week we are going to conduct a session with a chartered accountant 
she is working as a consultant in a big four so i'm calling her for getting knowledge on the ca part so you can spread the form i will be sending you all the details about the webinar where we'll be discussing more on the ca journey okay thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir